Hey there, sports history fan. This is Ross Bliley, the host of the Pigskin Tales podcast. Are you looking for that perfect, unique gift for your sports-loving child or grandchild? Or maybe you're looking for one. Well, I got something very unique for you. It's a racket. It's the ultimate device for the ultimate fan. It's perfect for any time you need to make some noise. What it is, is a 7-inch compact megaphone. It's got 8 powerful adjustable LED lights, noisemakers. Plus, you can design it all you want to match your team's colors. So get on out there and let's get loud. Bring a racket to your next game or competition to cheer on your favorite team or athlete. To pick up your racket today, head to MyRacket.com. That's my R A K I T dot com. Now it's time to take a sports break, a look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends in sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history. And welcome to your sports break for this New Year's Eve day, December 31st. Got some great milestone moments in sports history some, with some excellent athletes who were awarded or did some major accomplishments in the uniform numbers that they may have worn on those days. And we're going to start off in 1967 on this date, December 31st, the AFL championship at the Almeida County Coliseum in Oakland, California. The Oakland Raiders defeating the Houston Oilers 40-7. What a whopping one-sided score there. Number 16, George Blanda, booted four field goals for the Raiders in the club's first AFL championship. December 31st, 1973, number 14, Johan Cruyff was chosen as the European Football Player of the Year. Speaking of that, 1974, Kroof, number 14, took home another award the, exactly one year to the day of that previous one, the Balloon d'Or, where he won back-to-back awards, his third overall for the best European football player, ahead of Bayern Munich defender, number 5, Franz Bankenbauer, and Liga of Warsaw midfielder, number 10, Kazmierz Dania. December 31st, 1988, the Pittsburgh NHL Center. Number 66, Mario Lemieux, accounted for all of his team's goals in the Penguins' 8-6 win over the New Jersey Devils. He famously scored five goals, each in a different way. Even strength, power play, shorthanded penalty shot, empty net, and also netted three assists. On the ice for all eight and was a part of all of them. That is being some productive things for number 66, Mario Lemieux. Super Mario, as they called him. December 31st, 1997, the Buffalo Checks NHL goalie, number 39, Dominic Kasich, stopped 36 shots for his 27th career shutout in a Sabres 3-0 win over the Ottawa Senators. It was the sixth shutout in the month of December, the first time that's happened since George Hainsworth did it in the 1928-1929 season to achieve that feat. December 31st, 2018, the Houston Rockets guard number 13, James Harden, scored 43 points in the Rockets' 113-101 win over the Memphis Grizzlies. It was the fourth straight NBA game where he scored over 40 points and the eighth straight with over 35. He joined the likes of number 14, Oscar Robertson, as the only player with at least 35 points and five assists in eight straight games. And that is a major accomplishment when you sit there and think about everybody that's had some great games games in NBA history you know only those two gentlemen have done that feat so far so we'll wait and see as we got some uh, very talented individuals in the NBA right now and uh, you know how about this with the, some great soccer some great hockey and basketball as well as a little bit of football mixed in you know it's a great day for sports history and the end of the year the last day of the year and uh Just some great stars have been shining out there. And we are so glad that you joined us here for this year. This marks the 365th day of the uh, JerseyDispatch.com website being started. We started and launched on January 1st of last year. Uh, Brought the podcast in a little bit after that. 
And we have some great things planned for this coming year of 2023. And I hope you'll be there with us all the way through that as well, as we are trying to bring you as much great sports history as we can with the uniform numbers and the great events that the players did. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, if you can't wait for our next episode to come out, well, go to the sportshistorynetwork.com. There's 30 different podcasters. Somebody's bound to be releasing a podcast each and every day. And if not, there's thousands of hours of backlog that you can listen to to catch up on some sports history and learn a little bit of something and have a few laughs. with some great uh, entertaining hosts and guests. Uh, very knowledgeable in sports history. Also, you can go to our websites, pigskindispatch.com, jerseydispatch.com, and Orville Mulligan Sports Writer, found at orvilmulligan.com. It's a great audio drama. If you haven't listened to it yet, please do, because it's uh, really worth a listen. I think you'll be definitely entertained and enjoy a different way of gaining some sports history knowledge. So, till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. This penalty kill is almost over. I got to get back out on the ice. But thanks again for joining us for another great edition of Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. Get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude. And I hope that you enjoyed this recent episode presented by the Sports History Network and we're able to learn some good old-fashioned sports history knowledge nuggets. I started the Sports History Network back in 2020 with the mission to help podcasters find a community of like-minded sports history nerds, as well as helping aspiring podcasters to start their own shows. We have a little bit over 30 shows on the network right now covering all sorts of sports history, but as far as I'm concerned, we're just at the toothpick in the ocean moment, you know, that can't even figure it out because there's so much more coming. We wanted to create the ultimate headquarters for sports yesteryear, starting with Podcast Network and our website, but we're going to continue to move into other mediums as well. And here's the cool part, because we want you to be part of our team. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, or maybe being a guest on one of our shows, or who knows, maybe even writing an article for us over on the website. Seriously, all you got to do is reach out to us on the contact page over at sportshistorynetwork.com. You can be as technologically savvy as a Neanderthal tapping on a stone trying to figure out this whole hieroglyphics thing back in the day. Again, it doesn't matter, because even if you don't understand the whole podcast space, we have a production team that can pretty much help you out with doing everything. All you gotta do, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com, head to the contact page, fill it out. That message goes right to me, and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But for now, dude, I'm through if you're through.